Hello everyone and welcome back to Ninetail Hobbies. This time we're going to be painting a falling star and we're going to be doing a dark version. A little bit inspired by the Black Pearl. This was a buddy's and it was just sitting around in primer and I couldn't look at it anymore so I told him that I would paint it for him. So first thing I had to do was push the cells back because they do not come completely off. And then I went through and primed everything that I could with a rattle can. That was everything except for the cells. So for the cells, I just took some brush on. This is Steinol Res Black and just painted it on. And then came all the dry brushing. I first started off with a 50-50 mix of black and brown. This was just craft paint and dry brush that on as a base and then slowly I started to add in some blue and then added progressive steps uh, adding in a tan which gave it a paler and paler feel uh, my buddy said he didn't want a straight up black ship so he showed me some reference materials and all the ones that I saw were blue and atmospheric and and everything so that's what I used as inspiration and for all the banisters and everything I used uh, Rhinox hide I could have used a, just a dark cheap craft paint but I couldn't find quite the tone that I wanted to uh, so I didn't use too much Rhinox hide also used it for all the windows came in and dry brushed with some desert yellow just to because it's desert yellow when it's put up against something like this it kind of has a slight green tint to it so I thought that would work for a sea ship and then used a necrotic flesh on the ropes just to show them being a little sea worn and then went over really lightly with some skeleton bone on top of that and then all the metal parts were done with gunmetal windows were done with brass from Vallejo. These were a nice accent color against the black and the blue, I felt. dragon uh, was done with steel uh, from Vallejo Just had some nice depth the guy said he either wanted a uh, silver or gold dragon for the front and I thought silver would kind of work a little bit better
and trim the rudder in a mix of the bronze and steel. and just dry brush some lighter metals on top of the dragon to give it some more definition. And then came in easy peasy with some Payne's Gray oil wash, slathered it all over. Once the paint's gray had dried out, I used a dark umber, burnt umber oil wash as well to give it a little bit more weathering. 